guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before my name is Ashley and I'll be going into my first year teaching this fall next month in a few weeks I'll be teaching a room full of kindergartners I'm super excited about it I mean I don't know let's just be real that's how I want to feel the truth is I'm super scared I'm super nervous I got fear I'm just all over the place about it I can't think about what I'm gonna do I haven't gotten in my classroom yet so yes I am all a huge wreck right now but that's okay that's all right um, we're gonna get ready we're gonna get settled and everything like that so let me just show you some things that I got I took my kids to Mississippi originally from Mississippi my mom was gonna keep them while I set up my classroom and they had tax-free weekends so let's see what I got all right so the first things I got is these bins from Dollar Tree I really need to get black bins for my classroom library I just grabbed these because they were gray and they only had a few and I was like just in case you know I might change my mind also got from my library these uh, crates now these crates were 377 from Walmart and I plan on doing the, the seat cushions and like for storage and stuff like that. But I don't know if I'm going to use them in my library or use them around my small group. I do know that I'm going to make seat cushions for them. I also got these little foam cushions. Now these are going for the crates with the crates. And it's going to be like that. I got to get some plywood to go on it um, to make it more sturdy. But these come with four in a pack. So I'm mean, pretty soft. And they're not going to be sitting on them all day. So... It should be comfortable enough. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. But yeah, I plan on making some seat cushions with that. If you see me doing this, guys, my head, these braids are heavy, a little heavy. And they are tight because they're braids. So that's why I'm doing that. But anyway, right, so I got this Astro Bright paper. I was going to put this back, but I decided to keep it because um, just in case, you know, I don't want to have to go back to the store. And I plan on making like little welcome things for like meet the teacher and stuff like that so I wanted it to be colorful and that's why I got these. I also picked up this Ink Joy Paper Mate Ink Joy pens. Now people say they love them. Um, I remember when I was student teaching I would watch different videos and they would always recommend these but I didn't pick up the big pack because you know I may not like them. It's just because everybody else like them it doesn't mean I don't like them you know. But I love a good writing pen so I got the $5 pack and yes so Let's see how I like, I like them. If I like them, I'll go get the bigger pack. But yeah, that's that. Okay, so while I was at Walmart, I was able to get their school supplies. So let me show you that. So I got five boxes of crayons, the Crayola crayons for 50 cents a piece, I believe. Most of the things I got is for my kindergartner because she's starting fresh and starting just nothing, you know. So we have scissors for her. They needed some paint. We got that. All this stuff was like a dollar a piece, guys. It was no two or three dollars each item they're like a dollar a piece got some color pencils for my kindergartner i got three packs of pencils for both of them so they can share you know pencils i think my kindergarten only needed one of these at 20. all right so next up is some glue sticks i got the elmer's glue sticks they were buy two for a dollar so i don't know why i only got three all right next up is erasers now I got three packs of erasers, but I have good logic because my fourth grader needed four of these and then my kindergarten only needed two. So we just did that like that. We got some pencil pouches. Again, a dollar, probably cheaper than a dollar, I think. Got some composition notebooks. These were 50 cents for my kindergartner. I guess she's gonna be writing a lot, but we got those. I picked up these folders from Walmart also for 15 cents. But they do have the metal prongs in the inside, which is great because these are the first things to go. And just in case her grandma doesn't get these, I have them and they're ready. And I just picked up a variety of colors. I also got my fourth grader these packs of pens on her list. She needed red pens. I don't know, but I got them anyways. And they were only a dollar, so. I got these right here, these Kleenexes. Now I do have to go back and get like dry mats some wipes and stuff like that, plastic bags and Things like that for my kindergartner, but I picked up these because this was a great deal. It was only five bucks for three boxes, so I got these for her. I got this pencil sharpener for my fourth grader. It is like unicorn and rainbows and all that stuff. Yeah, so this was a dollar also, maybe cheaper than a dollar, I don't know. But it sharpens pencils and crayons, so she needed her own personal pencil sharpener. All right guys, so my camera died, but I wanted to show you the last thing that I got from the store before I get off of here. And that is this book bag, it's so cute. I got it from Dirt Cheap for seven bucks. Now this is a Gap book bag and Dirt Cheap does resell 
um, items that didn't sell in the store. So that's why I got it for dirt cheap. And in the inside is pink, super cute. And it has property of, and I'm gonna put her name on there. And got some little pouches and stuff. So yeah, seven bucks, originally 24, 24.97 on clearance. So yeah, got a good deal on that. Now I do personalize my kids' stuff, so like I may put their initials on it or their last name. Not on crayons and glue sticks and stuff like that, but just like on the things that they carry around all the time. Lunch boxes, uh, backpacks, sometimes pencil, pencil pouches, if it's something that they carry back and forth. So yeah. Um, other than that, I think that's going to be it for this video. Now, I do have binders and paper and all that stuff already here. I, like, I get stuff all the time, and I just save it. So whenever school starts, I already have some, well, most of the things that they need. My fourth grader grandparents will be helping um, get school supplies also. So that's why I didn't really get a whole bunch of stuff for her. And I will be going back to the store to get Dramax and wipes and all that kind of stuff, plastic bags. All that and everything else that their grandparents didn't get, I will be getting those. I did have to keep in mind being a parent and a teacher at the same time what items I wanted to purchase. But I just thought about it like this. What items would I want my students to purchase for my classroom? Do I want them to follow the list? Or do I want them to just think of what they actually need? So, I just, I just try to follow the list. It's so simple and it's easy and you kind of just hit all the boxes. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like comment below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.